Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox. Thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox channel. Reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a model made between 2005 and 2012. This is the Patek Philippe Calatrava 5127R001, the automatic rose gold Calatrava, the heart and soul of the catalog in its day. If you're going to own just one Patek Philippe dress watch, this is an excellent candidate. 37 millimeters in rose gold, the watch is 8.9 millimeters thick, and from lug to lug, 46 millimeters with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. On my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see it sits well. At only 46 millimeters lug to lug, I can recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 13 centimeters in circumference making this an ideal unisex option. You can see I've got plenty of clearance on both sides of my wrist, and that's probably best demonstrated by this down-the-barrel shot. Taking a quick look at the hardware and the software. Software first, the strap is large rectangular scale alligator leather, high gloss black, monotone stitch, sheer cut sides. You can see the layers of leather in the sheer side, and then the underside is calf skin. You can see this is a brand new Patek Philippe factory strap. There are pull tab spring bars, so using only your fingernails, you can remove the strap. There's a simple spade style, matching rose gold Patek Philippe pin buckle, and then we draw ourselves back to the case, which is simply rife with compound curves, sensuous, billowing, graceful, and tapered. This is a truly handsome form with traditional integrated lugs that are all of one piece with the case. That's Calatrava style. But the lugs are also nicely tapered and they come to a handsome point. Straight lines here are at a premium. This watch is beautifully sinuous. As you can see, it's from the school of thought that believes crown guards add a little bit of masculinity and visual strength to a dress watch. As a result, the watch does look bigger than its 37 rated millimeters. The crown is a screw down and the case back is screwed in, so though the watch is 30 meters water resistant, this is a particularly stiff 30 meters and quite dependable. Very few dress watches have both a screw down crown and a screwed in case back. The bezel is all of a domed profile and it gives way to a dial that is somewhere between silver and cream. It's got a little bit of an off-white coloration to it that works well with the rose gold of the case. The indices as well as the hands are rose gold and they are faceted down their center, both the hands and the indices. They are diamond polished and hand finished. There are artisans at Patek Philippe who work with diamond tipped micrometric milling tools and all they do all day long is create components like this. The same is true of the golden aperture for the date. The watch has a quick set date, though not hacking seconds. And you can see the counterweighted lancet style seconds hand follows a track of golden dimples that can be used to read the seconds as well as the minutes. Now, taking a look on the case back, the first thing you notice is that this is caliber 315. So caliber 315 would have been used in 2005. So you have a pretty good sense of when this watch was made just by looking at the caliber featured. Now, roll over and you can see it also features the Poisson de Genève, the evocative, more romantic, and more traditional predecessor to the Patek Philippe seal. So this was featured on these movements between 2005 and mid-2009. So you have a real good sense of when this watch was made just by going by the signature on the terminal end of the drivetrain and then, of course, the three 15 script letting you know this is probably a 2005 manufacturer watch. The 315 is a little bit different than the successor 324 and that it uses bi-directional winding instead of unidirectional and it beats at 21,600 vibrations per hour. Other features here include a Gyromax style free sprung balance and the Gyromax balance was a mid-century 20th century Patek innovation that allows the watch to take a precise adjustment and that better hold it in the face of shocks and vibration on the wrist. So five position adjustment is the chronometer and high horology standard and that's what we have here. The watch has a 45-hour power reserve. It pivots on 29 joules. It's nicely decorated. As you can see, there is a mirrored anglage that is started mechanically but then finished by hand. There's lovely Cote de Genève or stripes linear across the bridge, circular across the rotor. You can see that there's engine turning on the center of the rotor, but then also in larger perlage on the base plate. And all of the screw heads are black polished on their top with chamfered slots and circumference. The anglage is particularly attractive here, and it is one of those things you get in a Patek watch that sets it apart from the competition. Were this a rank and file Audemars Piguet automatic, the bevels would all be obviously machined with no hand finishing to complete the polish. Patek Philippe is quite different. Uh, this is a handsome watch. This is a core collection watch. This is an iconic watch. It's all of those things, and it's a Patek Philippe. Reach out to Team also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.